Hello all my makeup freaks and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Stephanie. So today I am going to be talking about these NYX, what are they called? Liquid Suede Lipsticks. I have two, but you know I would pick up a purple. And I'm honestly obsessed with this kind of purpley brown kind of 90s color. I've bought I think in the past few weeks like three different kind of similar colors y'all know how I do like if I'm going to be into a color I have to get like every single color like purple lipsticks like I know I have enough but I have to get every single one so I picked up two I thought that would be a good kind of indication I don't really like super pale colors so I know sometimes in formulas it can be a little bit different between like how their deep dark shades work versus their light shades um, I kind of think this is a light, lighter shade compared to this one, but we'll just see. So I guess I will do like lip swatches and then I'll tell you a little bit like how the formula kind of wears. So I have been wearing them and I actually wore this color today. Um, please excuse like my face at this point. This is like nine o'clock at night. I have worked a full day. Um, I've been home for a while of like went to the grocery store and ate dinner and all this good stuff, you know. Um, and I put my makeup on at 5 o'clock this morning. And I, it looks like every single bit of my foundation is off. But my eyeshadow, oh my gosh. Like, it is, it is there. Thank you, Urban Decay. Love you. And so, yeah. And my hair. This may be the first video that you see with my hair a little bit different. Um, it's actually a few weeks old and it is fading. So this was purple and right now for whatever reason this was like a light purpley blue and the ends look gray which was not in any way intentional but I know like gray is super super popular right now so you know hey and then this under was pink which that really needs a touch up but like funky colors fade really fast so you have to kind of embrace the fade. So let's get started. I'm going to start with this lighter one this light purple one and it is called Sway. Before I talk about that I want to show you this super cute mirror. I'm not going to show you the mirror part because I will blind you. I found this at the dollar store like Dollar Tree and it is like purple zebra print. I love this. Oh my goodness. So me and it like perfectly matches this lipstick which I think is hilarious. So the bottle looks like this. It's kind of like a chunky tube um, and it has like a jewel kind of thing here. I wish this jewel had been like a different color. Maybe even the color of the lipstick. Um, just to like give it a little oomph but it's still cute. The wand is kind of flat. Um, it's honestly not my favorite I wish it was a little bit smaller and kind of a little bit more pointed at the tip because I have a very defined Cupid's bow. This is kind of flat and I have a little bit of trouble like getting it really good defined, but I can work with it. It seems to pick up a good enough product without like being a crazy amount of product. Um, all in all, it's an okay wand. Some people will love it because it is kind of bigger. You can get your lips done faster unless you have like a really defined Cupid's bow, which I do. As far as smell, it has like a very faint kind of smell. It smells pretty much like liquid lipsticks do if they don't smell bad. If that makes any sense, it kind of has that same smell. It doesn't have, you know, like a real vanilla smell. It doesn't have a really chemical smell. It just kind of has a liquid lipstick smell if the liquid lipstick smells okay. So let's go ahead and begin. You may see my mirror for a minute because since I haven't recorded in a while, I have got kind of out of where everything needs to be. So you're going to have to work with me for a few videos. This is such a pretty color. Oh my goodness. Oh, 
oh wow like I really really like this color like some people are gonna be like wow that color's a little crazy and yeah it is it is bright I love like crazy kind of colors and I definitely think like I would wear it with this eyeshadow just they're all like bright and I you know I think whatever you want to wear wear it you know I like it you'll see it's gonna kind of dry down a little bit um, what I have found with these is they have some good points to them number one they don't seem to get kind of nasty if you layer it up a little bit so if you were seeing in the video you, you know one swipe it was pretty opaque but I like to kind of go over I over you know I overline my lips a little bit um, so when you're doing that you kind of need to like be able to go over it a little and that doesn't seem to get kind of cakey or build up weird and some liquid lipsticks can do that also it seems to be able to reapply okay and not get weird which I really really enjoy that now to me this is not transfer proof if you take a drink you are going to kind of have a little lip print on your cup you will still have lipstick on but you will have some transfer I also do not find that these are like super super all day long wearing these are long wearing compared to a regular lipstick but they are not an eight hour lipstick and for me that is perfect because I don't particularly like the ones that are eight hours because they feel like your lips are dead I haven't with wearing these felt like my lips are like overly dry um, they feel very comfortable also like while I'm like letting this dry I can move my lips and not worry they're not gonna get like cracked up or weird looking some liquid lipsticks you kind of have to sit like this like you're a mummy and if you ever like put your lips together then you're gonna get like peeling and nastiness these do not do that um, so I appreciate that so I've been like kind of talking for a minute let's see back of my hand kiss test and you will kind of see because I think there's going to be some transfer yep see so that's full on pretty much every little piece of lip <laughs> that I have um, that is that is definitely transfer this is pretty much dry and so it dries down it is a matte finish um, but it is definitely not transfer proof but I do I still I think it is a nice lipstick so let's go ahead and try on a vintage and one good thing is this came right off with a makeup wipe didn't really have to scrub I just kind of went loop and it, it was off it's off my hand so that is perfect this is called vintage and it is like a purpley brownish 90s color it has the same kind of smell as the other one and once again like I'm kind of obsessed with this color lately so let's go ahead and try this one on I absolutely love this color and I think a lot of people are gonna find this more wearable probably than like a lavender bright purple um, you know I love color so I'm not scared of it but this also has a little bit of like a gray tinge to it so like the people that like that like gray undertone lipstick will like this this is definitely a 90s inspired lipstick I find these very very comfortable um, I'm able to wear them throughout the day without feeling like I need to moisturize my lips and I have like liquid lipsticks that make me feel like oh my lips feel awful um, so I really really enjoy and I especially enjoy that these are a drugstore option for a liquid lipstick now negatives they're definitely not a super super long wearing lipstick so if that's what you're looking for, this is not them. If you want a good, you know, four hour lipstick that's going to stay in place, 
then this would be a great option for you. It is not transfer proof, but I do feel like it is kind of, um, you know, it, it, it lasts longer than your average lipstick. So I actually kind of want to pick up more colors just because I really, really like them. And I am kind of hit or miss on NYX products. There's some I love and some I don't particularly love, but these are like fantastic. So I've been talking for a few minutes. I wanted to see how the transfer was for this one. So let's go ahead and do the kiss test again. Pretty much the same as the purple one. All my lips, but my lipstick still looks good. So this product gets a two thumbs up and I will be picking up new colors. Let me know if you have tried these and what colors you got and if you love them or hate them or, you know, I just like to know your opinion. I'll love you guys and I'll talk to you later.